Before I begin, I want you to examine everything that we're going to be using. There's a few half dollars. Make sure that these half dollars are real coins, that they don't have trap doors or rubber bands or gimmicks or mirrors or any of that typical magic stuff. Okay? Just ordinary, everyday, garden type variety half dollars. Now I want to place a square onto the floor with these four coins. And before I perform, let me give you a little background on this effect. You know, magicians hang out together. A lot of people don't realize how tight a grapevine magic is. Uh, but we always go out together and we show each other tricks. We even develop tricks just to fool each other. Now, for about 17, 18 years, this is the trick that I've used to fool other magicians whenever we got together. Typically, we'll go out together and we'll be showing each other tricks. Maybe it's midnight and everybody's about to fall asleep. And I'll say, well, how about one more trick? And this will be the trick that I'd always do. So I've done it for magicians now in 27 different countries, and they've written me letters guessing how it's done. And I'll tell you what they guess. The first thing they guess is that I've got six or seven coins. Okay, on my honor, my word of honor, I only use these. The second thing that they guess is that I've got some kind of a sticky stuff on my hands. There's no glue or bondini or any fancy stuff on my hands. The third thing that they guess is that I've got an extension that comes out of my sleeve that makes the trick work. Now, it sounds crazy, but I want to roll back my sleeves just to show you that I've got nothing up my sleeves except my elbow, and that's just a birthmark. <laughs> nothing up my sleeves. So now you know all the things that I don't do. Here's what I do. All I do is I cast a shadow over the coins. Now, I'll put them into a square, and I won't touch them again, okay? All I'll do is just cast a shadow over the coins, and the magic will happen. You ready? All I do is just a wave, and the coins travel. I'll do it again, just a wave, and the coins travel. One more time. There it goes across. Finally, there's three and one, the final coin. Just like that, that's all four coins across. <laughs>